Today we are at Apartamentos Otorongo. This place is very special to us. We stayed here not once but twice when we came to Cuenca and we are going to take you on a tour and talk to Javier and show you around the area. Javier is the owner. Javier is the owner. Mm -hmm. I'm standing in the apartment we stayed in two years ago. This is when we came for our exploratory trip and we wanted to get the whole authentic experience so we made sure to find a place that had a fully furnished kitchen. So we wanted to be able to walk to the Mercado and cook and make sure we actually liked all of that and that we could be uh, happy vegans here and we were. As JP mentioned we're feeling really nostalgic. It's really neat to be back here. We're, I'm going to take you on a quick tour. They have, they don't have an oven, they have a cooktop, which is a gas cooktop, and then you've got your coffee pot, your boiler oven, which are very popular out here. All the pots and pans and plates, glasses, silverware you would need, double kitchen for, I mean double sink for washing your dishes. Some of the units do have ovens, and it depends on how many people you are. He has small units, so, um, one bedroom, two bedroom. Uh, standalone units as well. A couple new places with balconies, which are super nice. Bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and the bedroom. Beds are super comfortable. Do you want to show the view outside our windows? It's really beautiful. We were really comfortable when we stayed here. We stayed in this apartment for a week when we came here on an exploratory trip. When we came here the second time, we stayed for a couple of months in a different unit that's on the river. It's really nice, very comfortable. Javier and his family are super accommodating and we're gonna go speak with Javier now. Everyone, this is Javier. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Javier is the owner, Javier and his family are the owners of Apartamentos Otorongo and I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about your facility. Well, this is actually our 26th year. We've been in the, in the market for, for a while. Uh, that started as a family business and it kept doing a family, a family business. We took over with my wife, the administration of Otorongo nine years ago. Mm -hmm. So basically it's a very, very nice location as you see in oh, the yeah. pictures. We are very fortunate to have the possibility to have an access directly to the Tomebamba River, to the river banks. Even though we are in central Cuenca, downtown Cuenca, so you expect to have like a lot of traffic right. and noise and feel really in the city and you can see in my background actually how green it looks this is really and we try to keep it that way we put a, a lot of effort in the garden and we try to keep it as green as possible trying to look like an oasis here in in the city of cuenca we have 10 apartments and mm -hmm. our one bedroom just the one you show the people oh, yes. before the one you stay we have then like that we have three apartments and our two bedroom apartments we have a studio and we have something that we call the tomebamba suite that's one that has like a sliding private tour with access to the Tomebamba River. That's where we stayed when we came back with uh, our dogs. Oh yes, yeah. right, right, right. It was really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's very convenient. I will, it is. As you said, we accept pets and obviously having that apartment where you can take them for a walk, yes. you know, in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah it's, we like that. Ve it's very convenient, yeah. So I see you've been doing some renovations to some of the rooms. Exactly, we just try to keep, you know, things updated all the time for, for clients and having the river, the river I think is one of our, our primarily assets in, in, in Otorongo. So we are trying to, to get the people more connected to the river. So on the back side of Otorongo we are putting balconies that give you the opportunity to, to, to enjoy the river from, from there. It's a balcony where you can sit outside, have a cup of tea, just read, enjoy the, 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 the view of the, of the river. Yeah, and as we mentioned uh, when JP and I were exploring our old room, everything is fully furnished here, which is awesome. And it, because you have people who come and stay for several months, right? We came for a week first and then we right. stayed for a couple months, but you have people who stay for what? Yeah. Six months, a year? Well, we have people staying, well, we say, we, we started with one night. From one night, we can start as long as, as you can stay, I mean, as long as you want it. Uh, we have currently uh, two people staying for um, whole year. They are actually working. They are working on the internet. We mm -hmm. have a very decent internet con connection for Ecuadorian standards. And yeah, I mean, that's a possibility too. So people don't want to worry about 
paying the bills, right. don't want to worry about, you know, the sheets and towels, everything, everything is there for you, so you just focus on, 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 on working and do your stuff here. In the other hand, we have the people that just like you guys are in the process of relocating and they're working with the visas, they are working with the bank accounts, with the cell phone, all these little things right. that you need to do until you will really settle down and then you can like fly away by your own. <laughs> so when you are, you know, everything is ready so you can leave apartamentos of Torongo. So the average time that the people stay here is a month. We have also a good segment of local people, Ecuadorians, mm -hmm. that comes just during the holidays and stuff. Or we have people also that come and work, you know, from Quito or other cities oh, in okay. Ecuador and are just here for a project, for a specific project for two years, I mean, two weeks or, mm -hmm. or, or, or so, and they stay for that period of time. The record, uh, uh, it's someone that stayed two and a half years with wow. us. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's the longest so far. I understand that because when you stay here, you don't have to worry about paying any of the utilities. You don't have to worry about the housekeeping, any of that. It's really nice. Yeah, and the other thing is we also live on site. Oh, I mean, we yes. are not yes. available 24 seven, but most of most of the time we are we are here. And if we are not here, the employees are here. Right. So if little something happens, you know, you are always, you know, you always have to pack up with someone to help you. To, to do the to, to, to fix whatever whatever is, right. is wrong and as we live here with with our with our kids and our two dogs you know so this is home for us so it's a it's a safe place we have some oh, of definitely. these people that stay longer are actually single females because oh, they okay. feel they feel safe here sure. staying in a in a home you know so how do people make a reservation with you well we are all over the web we are using all the different online channels. We are in Airbnb, Booking.com, Expedia, Orbitz, Hotels.com, just oh, okay. name it. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but the best deal, it's always on our website. Your website. Yeah, you know, especially if you are staying for longer period of times, we don't have deals in any of those platforms for longer period of time. Okay. If, you, if you are planning to stay over a week, you better contact us uh, directly. We have uh, a website you can book online it's a very simple process mm -hmm. you can pay online you know for for booking our website is hotelotorongo.com okay and we'll put a link to your website great. in the description below great so javier will also take people on tours so if you're interested in cycling or canyoning you can definitely get with javier um what else do you do you took us to Bidlion. Oh yes, well I am, yeah, I am actually a certified outdoor guide, okay. so I take people to do a little challenging things, you know. Nice. We, we do canyoning or canyoneering, we do rock climbing, mountain biking, trail running, hiking, you know, outdoor mm -hmm. activities in general, in general terms. And something that we also uh, like to do is to give the, the, the people like an overview of the city. Okay. As, as we, I mean, our, our business is this facility. We don't work in real estate, and we are not trying to show the people certain neighborhoods and are better than other neighborhoods because you have a property there. Right. So we take the people just to to show them around from a Cuencano perspective. I will say okay. to see what are the the nice neighborhoods in in Cuenca. What are the the different, the different type of, the different pros and cons of, of living in certain in certain right, places. Right. Actually, you can look at the link below. We can put that link to, to see because we also make uh, a video about it. We had so much people asking, you know, questions about the weather, about the location, about prices, about noise, about mm -hmm. you know safety. Right. So we actually create something to help people understand what's going on. I do remember that yeah. video. Yeah, we'll link to that as well. Okay, great. We really, really like the riverfront. The Tomibama is amazing. It's very relaxing and beautiful out there. Yeah, indeed, and there's a, a good place to hang out and meet other other guests. I mean, the setting, the setting of of the, of the Otorongo, like a, like mm -hmm. a horseshoe, like put all the social activity in the middle, so you can 
meet other right. people. I'm pretty sure you have good friends that you made when you were here that you're still seeing it. We did, yeah. yeah. That's one of the awesome things about coming here is you meet a lot of different people and a lot of different people from different parts of the country that are coming here to stay. It's, but you have people that come back year after year. We have people that comes, you know, snowbirds, you yes. know, they, they migrate every winter and come and visit us, you know, every every winter. There, we have people that have been coming here for seven, eight years in a row. We did make a lot of friends here. Otoronga really creates a community. We still see a lot of the people that we met here. Uh, we meet people who, friends of friends that stayed at Otorongo and we still see them and hang out. Well, it's same, awesome. the, the same thing with us. We keep, yeah. see, we keep seeing people, you know, outside outside of Torongo. We keep hanging out with them, you know, going for a, for a beer or a couple of beers, you know, eating something once in a while. We keep in touch with them. Yeah, I, I am, you know, 100% in the same page with you with that one. You, We have created like a community with Definitely. the people that stay here. Yep, that's why we got so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great place. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate you letting us come in and take a tour and visit our old rooms. And <laughs> well, no, <laughs> thank you for coming and showing you know these to, to to more people. We're very pleased to have. We like we like having people around. We like sharing our home. We like knowing uh, people. We had had many great experiences by knowing people from all over the world we had travel or kids had travel and visit some of these people and were or, or, awesome. or, or guests or former guests and now they are friends so we really like what we are doing we are really happy to have people constantly coming here to to Otorongo. thank you guys thank you that's awesome <laughs> thank you este lugar es muy tranquilo y estoy muy relajado aquí I hope you enjoyed our time here at Otorongo. We are gonna head over to the Mercado where we went pretty much every morning while we stayed here. We used to love walking down to the Mercado in the morning to get our fresh fruits and veggies. The only downside is this stretch right here I call the gauntlet because it's where all the big blue puffer buses drive by all at once and you have to breathe in all that disgusting diesel fumes. But other than that, this is a beautiful walk. I hope you enjoy it.
Cuenca and we stayed at Otorongo. We used to walk down here every day to buy our fresh fruits and veggies and buy our fresh bread. We, I guess we got really carried away. It was so cool to come and see all the wide variety of fruits and vegetables. And it was, well it was and still is so incredibly affordable and delicious. So we had a tendency to overbuy, but it was totally worth it. What was interesting to me is as we've come back over here today from Otorongo, it seemed a lot shorter. When we first got here, we were not as in good a shape as we are now. You definitely get your workout walking back and forth carrying all your groceries. that it is a stinky Mercado. There is raw meat hanging out there that's not refrigerated. They have a lot of raw fish, uh, chicken, cosas asi that is smelly. And uh, we used to go in the morning because it's a lot fresher. The nice thing is, is that once you walk out of there, you can go to the Panaderia, which you can see behind me, and that smells a lot better. We always went there afterwards and got fresh bread. We're gonna walk over to the Lavenderia and show you where we got our laundry done while we stayed at Otorongo. I didn't understand everything that she said, but I believe and I will have to go back and listen to our video to confirm. But now it's $4.35 to have a load washed and dried and that includes a laundry detergent and fabric softener. And they do fold everything. But she did say if you have a smaller load, they could use one of the smaller machines, it's $2.95. And they have a really big washer and that is $6.30. And they take care of it all for you, which is really, really nice. Hi veggie lovers, we're back in our current home here in Cuenca. We really hope you enjoyed the tour of our very first home in Ecuador. I truly did not expect to get so emotional. We both got really emotional, we especially did. when we went back into the room we stayed at yeah. when we came here on our exploratory trip. It kind of brought both of us to tears and I think it's because it, it, we had such fond memories of that trip. Well, and it was all so new and mm, exciting. exciting and a little nerve wracking. And, and we didn't want to leave. We really did not want to leave. We didn't want to go back home. That was the saddest hotel room I've ever checked out of. <laughs> it was. I've never ever been upset about leaving a hotel room before, but I was upset about leaving yeah, that one. Yeah, we already felt at home mm -hmm. our first visit here to Cuenca. Yep. And, we and now we truly are at home. Yeah, and we, we stayed in that bigger room when we came back. Mm -hmm. We really liked Otorongo. We love Javier and Samara, his wife, and Samantha, his daughter. They're wonderful people. They speak English, as you saw. Javier's yes. a great guy. So we're, we couldn't speak highly enough of our Apartamentos Otorongo. And we'll put links to the hotel and the video that Javier mentioned in the description as well as in our blog post, so you can look at those. Yes. And the best way to book with him is to book through his own through his website. You, he'll, you'll save money. He'll make more money because the the booking sites take a big chunk. So yeah. it's he, a win win. It's a win win for you. Yep. We are going to do a couple other videos on lodging here in Cuenca as well. So we're going to do one on hostels and one on hotels. Yep. So stay tuned for those. Mm -hmm. We really hope you enjoyed our flashback day in a life, veggie lovers. Yep. It was a flashback. It was. It was really fun. Yeah, going to the Mercado and and the Lavenderia. That was like a day in our life from a year and a half ago. Exactly. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. And leave us a like too, and a comment if you have any questions. Please do, and we will see you all soon. Ciao. Ciao. All right, that's all we have. We hope you enjoyed our tour of Otorongo and our and a day in our, what did I say that was? What did you call that? 
flashback. A flashback, yeah. Uh, let's, let's say that again. Over. We hope you enjoyed a day in our... Uh, <laughs> Why can't I say anything today? 